15 and here we will discuss in detail about uh, expectation and variance of a random variable so generally random variable i had already mentioned that it happens to be function of uh, uh, outcome to real number that it map outcome to real number uh, okay that we had already discussed and we also discuss about function of random variable we also discuss about various discrete random variable today we will discuss in detail about uh, how to find the representation of various possible value of uh, a random variable so that through expectation and if we, uh, we are having expectation then we will talk about uh, what are the variability of all those possible value of the random variable around that expectation so that variability we will measure it through variance so th these two are very much important concept for a uh, better understanding or visualization of uh, possible value of random variables so coming to outline of today's lecture uh, first, I would like to discuss about expectation. I will define uh, what is expectation. It generally you can say that it, it is one kind of representation of the data, unique representation of data, unification that we try to get it. That definitely random variable will uh, it will have various possible observation values. So uh, we have to talk about uh, can we get a single representation that would be given by expectation and another name that you can call it mean. And then we will talk about expected value rule. That means it is just generalization of expectation for any, and that means expected value rule, it is talking about expectation of any function of random variable. So here this expectation just we have to deal with uh, uh, given random variable and we will, uh, and the corresponding uh, probability mass function. So expectation of a random variable is generally we denote it by here uh, we are talking about from the disc discrete perspective. So each possible value of x we will multiply with corresponding uh, probability mass function p of x. Okay. And we have to run this uh, weighted product uh, for every x. For every this summation, this would be expectation. Okay, it is just generalized from average. Average that if I am saying that uh, we are having a number one, two, three, four, five. Okay, these are the number. Then I am asking, tell me what is the distribution of this number? Anyone would like to say what is the distribution of this number? What at first hand, what, simply I'm asking, I, I'm having four number, then I'm asking, uh, tell me how these number are distributed. What is the probability mass function for this number? If suppose X is denoting this, uh, this value, then what is the probability mass function corresponding? Anyone? Anyone would like to highlight? Simply, at, as uh, in the first module, I mentioned that uh, if no information is given there, the starting probability law happens to be uniform law, uniform principle. So uh, each uh, value, we will see it here uh, from the equal likely perspective. So each value would have equal probability. So how many uh, possible value you observe, four value. So each one, uh, so if you talk about uh, occurrence of one, one will happens with probability 1 by 4 like 2 will happen with probability 1 by 4 3 will happen with probability 1 by 4 and 4 will happen with probability 1 by 4 so that's why equally likely through equally likely situation you can talk about probability of any of these value would be same it is equally due to equally likely situation so by default you put condition equally likely if no info further information is given to you so you can simply say that uh, these four number is having probability distribution 1 by 4. If you are coming with 5 number and or 6 number onward like uh, if you go with n number and if uh, I am asking what is the probability distribution of this number then if no information is given here by default you can assume that there is a, uh, there is a uniform law. So from that uniform law you can say that uh, what will be probability mass function for this number it would be just 1 by n that simply we are calling it empirical approach it is one by n because there are n number of uh, observation possible observation here n number of possible value of x so that's why we are saying that the probability mass function for this one is uh, what one by n likewise if i am asking uh, to find the average of this n number so what would be anyone who would like to say what would be average of this number how to find average 
what what is the average of this number anyone do you know how to find average of n number or not there are n number n number so average simply find n, uh, average of this one i am talking about uh, to find average of n by 2 it would be net, not average i am not asking median that uh, middle word i am asking average mean what is the mean it would be just simple uh, sum these number and divide by total number of count so we are having n number so we are summing it 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to 10 and after that we are dividing it by total number of count like this way and if you break this one further that it would be what it is coming like this way 1 into 1 by n plus 2 into 1 by n plus 3 into 1 by n likewise plus n into 1 by n then what you see uh, uh, co what is common thing 1 by n is common thing so you can write this quantity like this way you are summing x and multiplying with 1 by n that happens to be probability of that uh, observing that x okay so that we denote it by px and x is here it is varying from where to where it is varying from 1 to n 1 to n you are able to write like this way so that's why we are saying that expectation is actually mean or average so we have already written here a better here notation take here it is taking discrete value so you can take notation in plus of x you can take k there is no issue so that's way uh, you can generalize it like this way uh, what does it say it simply say that uh, you what you did here you multiply one observed value of uh, x with the corresponding probability mass function B, this is the corresponding probability mass function and you run over this summation this summation you are running over x so this term actually it is just generalized from uh, average or mean and we are calling this one is expectation here what it is x is the uh, possible uh, value of ob observable value of x and p of x is the uh, corresponding probability mass function okay so and when we multiply these two quantity and summing over all x then we are getting average how so it is directly coming from so it, uh, coming from average so this uh, this one is having a name here and that we are calling it expectation that we will discuss and later we will discuss expected rule that means uh, as i had mentioned that if you are having x a random variable and you are defining function of that random variable g of x then g of x is again a new random variable that we will denote it by y so if you are we are having y then we can find uh, expectation of this y in two different approach those we will see it here one we will find it through expected rule approach another we will find it through directly by computing the distribution of y or probability mass function of y so two approach would come here in today's lecture so one just we have to find uh, expectation of uh, probability mass function of y another we will apply expected value rule here you will see that expected value rule it, it looks much easier from uh, computational perspective so we will go for expected value rule then i will talk about various examples that means we will come up, come up with various discrete random variable and uh, with respect to those discrete random variable we will find expectation and variance of those uh, discrete random variable so coming to first part of this uh, lecture that expectation what is expectation simply you can say that it is one kind of representation of various value there are various value so how we can represent in a single way so that we can represent it through expectation the next question would be how to compute that expectation that we will discuss 
okay so here uh, for, let us define a uh, the expectation of a given random variable so suppose we are having uh, x as a random variable and we know the probability mass function of that uh, uh, random variable okay probability mass function then simply probability mass function uh, uh, it is talking about uh, distribution of all possible value of x all possible observation of x okay possible observation i am talking about so probability mass function is, is talking about uh, distribution of all possible uh, value of x then what we have to do then we summarize this information in a single representative number remember focus on single representative number like mla omp kind of things what i tell mention so we summarize uh, all possible value of x in a single representative number as a mean or expectation and we define expectation as this way that means this uh, weighted sum you can say that it is a weighted sum okay so weight is here uh, <coughs> weight is provided by corresponding probability mass function this you can say that weight this weight is coming with respect to corresponding probability mass function of x okay x time so that's why weighted sum you can say it is weighted so it is one kind of average that if you you are taking x in a uniform fashion that means equally likely situation then simply p of x would be 1 by n if there are n number of possible value of x then it would be 1 by n if you are uh, putting uniform law but if it is not uniform then distribution would be something else okay so it depends upon distribution would be given to you what would be distribution of uh, probability mass function of that uh, number variable okay so if you geometrically willing to visualize or in physical sense if you are willing to visualize what is expectation then suppose we are having a, a iron bar okay and the weight of that iron bar at a point x we denote it by p of x okay we denote p of x is denoting weight of iron bar at point x then what would be the total torque about a center point c so if you are having a center point c uh, like here you can see plot like this one suppose this is the central point c and if you try to uh, compute total torque about central point then definitely uh, what would be ha happens if you take any arbitrary point x then you have to uh, what you have to do uh, you multiply the distance of uh, uh, this point with respect to c it would be x minus c and uh, how we calculate torque so weight is what uh, anyone would like to say that what is weight uh, if you try to talk from the physical quantity what is another name weight it is just what it is uh, we can call it it is force it is talking about force weight is one kind of force so how we calculate torque Tor torque we calculate by multiplying the corresponding perpendicular perpendicular distance okay of that point with respect to center so that's where here uh, this one is talking about uh, uh, simply torque torque of that point with respect to point c and you have to uh, compute total torque total torque it would be if you see that uh, there is no rotation in that uh, bar what will happens that uh, simply say that there is no torque what is, if there is no rotation if uh, why uh, that that means total torque is zero total no torque means total torque is zero that's why the, you you observe uh, there is a uh, the total uh, there is a no rotation why total torque is zero but that means left torque right torque this will come through this way and the, like a counter torque would come from right uh, left side so both will counter to each other and by in balance the total torque would be zero so that's why here uh, total torque is zero and if you simplify it from here you see that this c happens to be what it is just expectation this c happens to be expectation of uh, expectation that x if you consider as a random uh, here x is uh, what uh, taking uh, you take random point uh, along horizontal axis and uh, weight consider as a probability of uh, that uh, occurrence of those value probability of occurrence of those value so from that perspective we can say that c is just talking about the central point so another what we call it uh, uh, physical visualization of the uh, expectation so we'll discuss further about few example about expectation so uh, we come up with few random variable and if we come up with few random variable we will have idea of those uh, probability mass function as well so here we are having situation like this way x is a binomial random variable 
suppose x is a binomial random variable uh, with parameter uh, that means uh, n equal to 2 uh, we perform uh, uh, two trials in which uh, uh, probability of sub success in each trial is 3 by 4 probability of success is given 3 by 4 it is so definitely that uh, coin might be involved here in the process of uh, generating binomial random variable might be bias okay so probability of success uh, uh, is 3 by 4 so easily we can find probability mass function of uh, this binomial random variable how we know that uh, here uh, n equal to 2 so what are the possible value of x that x will observe it will observe either 0 or 1 or 2 because uh, 2 is the total number of trial so x is, if talk about uh, number count number of success 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 would be either 0 or 1 or 2 so that's where these are the possible value of x okay so with respect to these x you can find uh, value of probability mass function if you're taking x equal to or here these are discrete random variables so in place of x you can de denote it by k if k equal to 0 then uh, what is the probability probability mass function what is the value of probability mass function k equal to 0 it is talking about uh, no success zero uh, that means zero success so in that uh, case what will be probability probability would be 1 by 4 times 1 by 4 okay 1 by 16 if k equal to 1 then probability would be this uh, that means uh, here k equal to 0 your probability of success is, is 3 by 4 and then pro probability of failure would be 1 minus P, you will denote it by 1 minus p that one we 1 minus 3 by 4 and if you simplify it is it is coming as 1 by 4 so k equal to 0 is talking about in the both trial we observe failure so that means what is the probability of failure 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 so that's where you are getting 1 by 16 and k equal to 1 that means situation is one success and one failure and how many such outcome is there there are two it may possible in first trial we will get uh, success it may possible second trial we will get success so that's why there are two possibilities so two times we are taking it two times one by four times uh, one by four is coming for failure and three by four is coming for uh, success so, so this probability is coming so overall you know that uh, this is the probability mass function of this uh, uh, binomial random variable with probability of this given parameter these are given to us so our question is that we have to find uh, what is the expectation question is, question is that we have to find the expectation what is expectation so question it is already given here so we are performing uh, uh, two tosses of a coin with probability of success 3 by 4 two that's why n equal to 2 and we come to see what is the probability mass function and question is find the probability expectation so expectation easily we can find it like this way that means multiply k with corresponding probability mass function so if k equal to 0 then what is the probability 1 by 16 one component k equal to with respect to k equal to 0 if k equal to 1 what is the probability it is coming as uh, 6 by 16 so 6 by 16 is coming if k equal to 1 what is the probability probability is 9 by 16 it is so uh, 2 times 9 by 16 we we have to multiply the value of possible possible observation of x with the corresponding uh, probability so 2 into 9 by 16 and if after simplification what you observe that the observed value is 3 by 2 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 is what we say that it is what uh, it is uh, expectation of this binomial random, random variable and if you geometrically willing to visualize this expectation then uh, this one is x axis and x is observing uh, what value observing it is observing 0 it is observing 1 it is observing 2 and if you i am asking geometrically uh, tell me among these three value what is the central value what is the mean value central value Anyone? Uh, you remember that uh, here weight is different. So uh, observing probability zero with 
वन बाय सिक्सटीन और वन यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग प्रोटी सिक्स बाय सिक्सटीन इट इज रिलेटिवली हाइयर हियर यू वॉन्ट सी सीमेट्रिक सिचुएशन and two you are observing with probability 9 by 16 so what is uh, so what you observe that if you see this this vertical bar this one is 1 by 16 and this coin is not a uh, unbiased coin it is a, it is a biased coin so automatically you observe that uh, your mean value for this it would be shifted towards this higher higher weight higher probability so it is not uh, no more one at least if you have all the 0 1 2 are equally likely in that situation one would be the central point but it is not like that situation here uh, 0 1 2 are not uniformly distributed these are non uniform these are having distribution like this one these, these are the distribution you can see it here it is already i have given picture so due to that uh, this uh, non uniform distribution you can talk about uh, the central point that center of mass also you can say it like that way so our center of okay so uh, this x i had already seen, uh, mentioned that x also you can call it point mass as well so from that perspective uh, you can talk about uh, expectation is having another meaning that you can call it center of mass so where would be center of mass it would be 1.2 1.5 sorry it would be 1.5 further we will discuss about uh, expected value rule and uh, how to define variance of uh, uh, a random variable mm -hmm. through expected value rule those who doesn't find interest you can leave the class because i don't see participation from your side Uh, better you leave it and uh, you get f grade it would be fine for you so here first uh, let us discuss expected value of uh, a function of random variable how we define it so consider we are having x uh, a random variable with given probability mass function p of x now after that we come up with a function of that random variable y as a g of x so uh, we know that uh, uh, through that uh, composition situation it is again a random variable it is again a random variable we know that to, again domain would be uh, domain of this function uh, here why it would act like a function uh, from sample space to r so it would be a random variable so we can talk about uh, uh, expectation of y itself okay so in order to find expectation of y there would be two different approach so one approach that we first we will define it expected value rule and we define it like this way how we define expected value rule we define it like this way just uh, start with uh, uh, expectation of uh, g of y so that means expect we are trying to define expectation of y here this one and this one both are uh, from the if you try to see from the visual perspective both are different okay so here just we focus on y y independently we can uh, focus on y either y because we know that y happens to be function of x so uh, that means function of a random variable and hence y would be a random variable so due to that we can define uh, expectation of y uh, through the definition of expectation of a random variable how we define that means uh, we define as a weighted weighted sum of y that means we multiply each value of y with corresponding probability mass function of y so we are and we are summing that uh, product the weighted uh, quantity uh, over all y okay but you know uh, here x for x p of x that probability mass function is given uh, and uh, we don't know the probability mass function of y we don't know so what we have to do only we information we are having y happens to be a function of x so just we will take here uh, what we observe that is just focus on this argument of this summation in this argument what we observe that here 
if you focus on why at a time why here it is uh, one possible observation of y uh, random variable y capital y okay so with respect to that we can talk about this y is what it would it would definitely have a pre image that we will call it g of x g of x so and uh, with respect to uh, what uh, definitely uh, this y will have various uh, pre images uh, there would be various pre images it is not like that one pre images so there would be various pre images okay so in order to calculate uh, this uh, protein mass function for y how we can calculate this protein mass function so uh, in order to calculate protein mass function calculate protein mass function of each pre images of y and each pre images of y we will calculate it like this way those happens to be denoted to either call it uh, 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 p of x or you can uh, denote it uh, uh, protein mass function here i am taking notation x here here we are willing to calculate uh, protein mass function for y but we are here suffix you observe x so y because here x is happens to be what pre image of y uh, so we are looking uh, distribution of x only sorry a small is would be here okay so it is coming like this situation but what is happening that uh, y would have more than uh, it may possible that y would have more than one pre images so that's where we will sum up uh, in order to calculate uh, protein mass function for y for a specific this uh, given y uh, we have to sum for all x which are mapped to y under the function g such that x such that g of x equal to y so same summation it would run over here as well so i would like to take here two bracket here right so that is situation and now what is happening that this y is what and this y we have already written as g of x okay so that's why uh, <coughs> you can take this uh, uh, g of x inside this summation because here we are summing the all the probability we are not summing uh, x we are summing the all the probability with respect to all those x which happen to be pre images of uh, y so that's why uh, here uh, g of x it would be a single number g of x would be a single number so a single number it can be come out from, uh, if it is, it is out of the summation we can take it take it inside just for better representation so that's why we are taking this quantity inside and uh, on inside out there would be no issue uh, you can put it like here uh, outside as well so better uh, so what would happen so don't put it here put it here g of x and uh, this quantity if you observe what does it talk about it is talking about the probability of for all those x which happens to be mapped to y and and hence it will talk about actually probability mass function of probability mass function of uh, uh, y p of y it is actually talking about p of y so if you take this inside and uh, what is happening that overall what is the variation observe here in under this uh, uh, if you observe uh, only here we don't observe x uh, y anymore uh, we are just observing x only so that's where we can convert this definition of uh, expectation of y in the form of expectation of uh, expectation with respect to probability mass function of x and uh, we are finding expectation of not x we are finding expectation of g of x so here here directly uh, x is not coming g of x is coming here so we are calling this one is expected rule and here we are not uh, uh, taking expectation of y we uh, probability mass function of y we are here we are taking probability mass function of x so g of uh, in place of y we are writing g of x okay and uh, we are multiplying with uh, probability mass function of x so this one is expected rule 
this one is one approach this one is another approach so what is what is the difference between these two approach is that here in this approach we have to find probability mass function of y and in the second approach we don't need to find uh, don't need to find probability mass function of y we can just proceed with probability mass function of x it's, x itself but uh, here we are multiple we are taking weighted sum of g of x we are not taking weighted sum of x we are taking weighted sum of g of x okay uh, with uh, weight is coming from protein mass function of x, uh, x x so that's why this second one we are calling it expected value rule okay so our job is little bit simple in case of expected value rule so that's why we further i would like to elaborate it uh, this expected value rule like this way suppose we are willing to calculate uh, expectation of y that, that y happens to be function of x then we can calculate in two different approach one approach that we are calling it uh, by the definition of expectation what we do that means y we, definitely it is a random variable so we have to find the uh, distribution of y that protein mass function of y we have to find uh, and just apply the uh, definition of expectation that means uh, multiply each possible value of y with corresponding uh, protein mass function and sum it up for every y and in that process you will get expectation of y now there is a second approach what is second approach we are calling it expected rule okay what does it also another name of this one you can say that is it is law of unconscious uh, statistician okay or in short lotus you can call it so what we do it here so same thing this is the approach this is the approach what we do it here okay it is very much essential to understand second aspected rule approach that we don't need to find the protein mass function of y we can take benefit of protein mass function of x with the help of that we are trying to calculate protein mass uh, expectation of y so this uh, this one is really interesting we don't need to go for extra kind of calculation so i will take few example after that uh, 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 let me de define first uh, variance by uh, using that expected value rule and uh, after that we will talk about various example so wh what is happening that uh, when why there is a need of variance so variance is it is very much essential that uh, if you come up with uh, two different random variable x and y with different protein mass function despite of different observed possible value of x and y and uh, different uh, protein mass function both may have same expectation so if uh, you just try to distinguish two random variable from the expectation you can't do that you, you will face problem you can't say that uh, the expectation will refer which random variable so unification is not guaranteed in case of uh, you are just uh, going to calculate expectation so that means various random variable may have same expectation despite of different uh, distribution protein mass function so situation is coming like this way x suppose it is a Bernoulli random variable it is observing two value minus one and one and uh, equally likely situation is coming so that means uh, each each one is having probability one by two that uniformly minus one and one both are uniformly distributed simply you can say that so that's why uh, x is having probability mass function one by two and uh, y is also uniformly distributed and y is taking five value minus two two minus two minus one zero one two and now each value of y is also equally distributed okay so here protein mass function of y is one by five so easily we can say that this uh, protein mass function and this protein mass fun function both are different both are different simply we can say that but if you are willing to calculate expectation of x expectation of x is equal to zero likewise expectation of y is also zero so here both random variable x and y uh, having the expectation but the distribution of the all the possible observation is different with different probability that means here minus one is having probability one by x equal to minus one is having probability one by two and here uh, y equal to minus one is having probability one by five the various differences you observe it here uh, despite of fact that expectation is same so we can't say much about that we need one more quantity or parameter uh, to know further uh, that uh, differentiability between these two random variable so how we can uh, discuss that how we can introduce that so that here simply we can say that expectation is not capturing enough information about the possible distribution of the uh, observation or uh, value of random variable so we need to define another measure that we are calling it variance 
so what does variant do it measures the spread of the distribution of a random variable how random variable is distributed uh, what is the possible distribution uh, what is the uh, how possible observations are distributed so so uh, in order to see the variability we need to uh, introduce a new measure that we are calling it variance a uh, variance is defined as expected rule how uh, that means first take random variable find the expectation and deviate that uh, random variable by the corresponding expectation so here yeah, x is a random variable then you are deviating it uh, by corresponding expectation of that random variable we call it e of x so here again it is a again another uh, random variable or centered you can say that after that you are taking a square so a square if you are doing a square of a random variable so x minus this uh, single number it is uh, again a, it would be a random variable and after that you are doing a squaring so call it y y equal to aspect x minus um expectation of x whole square so this y is what it is a function of x you can say that it is a function of x so we are finding here function of x okay and variance of x is just uh, uh, expectation of this new function of x okay that we den denote it uh, denote it by this way further if you elaborate if you apply expectation uh, this uh, uh, x minus e of x whole square if you talk it is a function of x so in order to calculate the expectation of this one uh, what does how we can calculate we can calculate it through expected rule otherwise uh, uh, what you do first you find the expectation uh, Probability mass function of y and then calculate expectation of y. And that one is one approach. Another approach that uh, you don't need to find uh, probability mass function of y. You just proceed with expected uh, probability mass function of x itself, but uh, uh, multiply the each uh, value of y as a function of x. So you are writing as a function of x how? So g of x for each y, uh, it would be what? f of x so f of x that means x minus expectation of x here capital x would come here 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 a small x is coming for each it is a small y capital x because this expectation it is a single number so no worry of, about that it is sim simply a deviation and all a square we are taking it so we are multiplying this uh, function of x with probability mass function of x and this we are calling it uh, variance this what we we are getting it is variance of x and we are defining it through expected rule okay now uh, further uh, if you try to elaborate uh, further then it can be decomposed into two factor one we are calling the expectation of x square another we are calling it a square of expectation so this uh, uh, I think calculation is very simple. Everyone can compute this uh, uh, calculation. You can easily establish uh, this relation that is expectation of uh, uh, a square of uh, x minus expectation of x. You can easily compute this one. So computation is very simple. Uh, what do you do? Uh, what is the argument of this expectation? So, argument of this uh, focus on only this one. So, E treat as a what one kind of operator, uh, and uh, under E is operated upon a square of x minus expectation of x. So, here uh, uh, just uh, open up this uh, square. Okay. So, if you open up, then what you will get? You will get uh, it is just a minus b whole square. So, it would be uh, x square minus. Uh, twice of uh, uh, x times e to the power sorry uh, x into expectation of x plus expectation of x remember that expectation of x is a single number once you are applying the uh, operator e as an expectation over a random variable it becomes a single number so that's where it is a square and okay so uh, further simplify this uh, so if you are just uh, taking this expectation of operator inside and you know that it would be a very nice operator it is a linear operator kind it is just uh, defined with the help of summation summation is a linear operator uh, we know that it is very much a uh, linear operator so just take this uh, expectation inside 
so it would be expectation of x square and minus 2 it will, if you apply this expectation over uh, minus uh, 2 times x into e to the power uh, sorry expectation of x so minus 2 will come out because it is a constant also one more thing will come out expectation of x uh, will come out because it is a single number so expectation of x will come out and only we will have here expectation of this uh, random variable x is the random variable the expectation of x is no more a random variable as well, x is only a random variable so that's why we are finding the expectation of x okay now if you apply this expectation over this number what is the expectation of a single number anyone what is the expectation of a single number anyone would like to highlight if i'm asking find the expectation of one what is the expectation of one this number anyone one itself because it is a constant single number there is only one and probability uh, if you talk about distribution of one distribution of one or protein mass function of one would be uh, one itself it is a certain quantity so that would be equal to one so that's where here that idea you can apply it here and it just becomes expectation of uh, a square so expectation of this quantity would be equal to just same the same quantity that means a square of the expectation square of the expectation and if you further simplify what you observe here expectation of x into expectation of x means a square of expectation of x okay and two times here it is negative and one time here here it is positive so if you simplify then you will have this result that means expectation of x square minus a square of expectation of x so uh, why we are just writing this result because once we are having a random variable and the cor corresponding protein mass function then this quantity is easy to calculate and this quantity is easy to calculate expectation of x because we know the protein mass function of x so we can calculate expectation of x also uh, x square happens to be function of x a square function okay so usually we can find expectation of x square by expected value rule so uh, both thing we can calculate so calculate both thing and subtract and, and hence you will get variance of that random variable that is the approach so that's why that's why it is very much essential uh, relation to find variance of x so we can apply uh, this uh, here uh, concept of uh, uh, decomposition of variance into uh, expectation of x square difference of expectation of x square and so here uh, what we say that uh, cons here we are trying to introduce uh, a unified notation of uh, uh, these things uh, expectation of x then expectation of x square all these we are calling it moment of a random variable so here expectation of x it is defined as what it is defined as summation varies from uh, it is defined as summation of weighted sum of x that means x is coming as a exponent of x is here one So this uh, expectation generally we are calling it first moment. We are calling it first moment because exponent of x in the definition of expectation is one. So we call expectation as a first moment of a random variable. First moment. But if you define expectation of x square, then uh, through expected value rule, we know that expectation of x square it can be defined as how we define it. We can define it weighted sum of x square weighted sum of x square that means x square times property mass function of x so here the exponent of x is 2 so here 2 means second sorry so that's why expectation of x square we are calling it second moment and we, we are running this uh, summation over 
all x. So this one is second moment expectation of x. These are very much important to calculate variance and further uh, other quantities like cutotis and uh, uh, skewness. Other things will come later. Uh, we will try to see that uh, that geometry of uh, random uh, distribution of random variable. How how geometry is changing? How it is deviating from symmetry? So those things we need to discuss about a lot. So those things uh, would be best explained by nth moment. So it is very much essential to understand. So as we have seen that the expectation is defined as a weighted weighted sum of x and weight is provided by the corresponding protein mass function and we run uh, over this uh, this summation over x here we are calling here exponent of x is first one so that's why we are calling this one is the first moment likewise uh, uh, we can define uh, nth moment of a random variable as a expectation of uh, x to the power n that means uh, we are multiplying uh, we are taking weighted sum of x to the power n as an nth moment of x okay so this is this is the this is nth central moment also you can call it central moment as well and we we can define it define like this way so uh, what is happening that uh, there is a trick uh, through which you can calculate uh, expectation uh, nth moment of uh, every moment of a random variable and uh, that uh, approach is provided by uh, moment generating function where every random variable is having a moment generating function so easily we can find moment generating function for any given random variable uh, what is that how to find uh, that moment generating function so you need to know the corresponding distribution that means uh, you know the protein mass function of that random variable and uh, those possible value of uh, uh, random variable easily you can find uh, moment generating function so moment generating function uh, of a random variable it is defined as uh, it is a function of s and we what we do we are having a random variable x and we know the what is the protein mass function of x so what we do we are defining a function of x like this way e to the power x one exponential function we are defining exponential function we are defining e to the power s time x okay so find the expectation of this one so uh, <coughs> what is happening that uh, uh, you can uh, 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 here it is e to the power s time x is coming so you can expand uh, uh, it is what exponential so you can take exponential series and you can expand like this way uh, what is here it is 1 plus s x plus s a square x a square by factorial 2 and you can proceed further likewise so s is here it is one kind of parameter we don't it is there is no randomness over s it is a fixed thing so if you uh, apply the expectation of operation so expectation operation it would it would be commutable with summation and here we just we need to find uh, here s square is constant factorial is constant so it will go up to infinity even even you can talk about kth term so x s to the power k times x to the power k divided by factorial k and it will go on so here simply you can say that summation is varying from uh, 0 to infinity it is varying from 0 to infinity so what you observe here that this quantity is what it is a fixed quantity so that's why it is coming out of the expectation uh, there is a, there is no randomness over this quantity only randomness is there in x okay so uh, we are just finding expectation of x to the power k it is talking about moment so if i am asking to find uh, uh, various moment uh, from this moment genetic function how you can find so you, you, what you do differentiate the moment genetic function up to that order uh, uh, that order of the moment and put s equal to zero easily if you it is very much simple this result is very much simple you can visualize it this result here easily if you differentiate the uh, this one one times 
what will happen? You will get a expectation of x. Okay. If you differentiate two times, you will get a expectation of x square. If you differentiate uh, three times, then you will get a expect and put s equal to zero, then you will get a expectation of uh, x cube. Likewise, simply from if you are having moment genetic function, you can always find uh, each expectation uh, moment of a given random variable and now one example here i am taking it so if you are coming with uh, a poison random variable that means a random variable with distribution uh, poison distribution uh, pro poison protein mass function then just uh, you know the protein mass function so using that you can easily find moment generative function from this definition you can easily find it would be e to the power lambda time e to the power s minus one just little bit uh, cumbersome calculation is there usually you can find this is the moment genetic function of the uh, poison random variable and you can find any uh, moment of this random variable by differentiating this one and putting s equal to zero if you are willing to find first moment differentiate one time this function and put s equal to zero you will get expectation if you are willing to find a uh, uh, second moment differentiate second time and put s equal to zero you will get uh, expectation of x square so likewise you can calculate all the possible nf moment from the moment genetic function now i talk about application of uh, this uh, example of uh, few random variable where we need to find expectation and variance of a given random variable so various example would come here so example it is coming like this way uh, here first simplest take uh, bernoulli random variable so we know the protein mass function of Bernoulli random variable and we need to calculate uh, expectation and variance. So if you are uh, tossing a coin, bias coin, then definitely there would be probability of success P and uh, probability of failure would be 1 minus P with respect to each trial. Then uh, Bernoulli random variable, it would have a unified uh, protein mass function P to the power X into 1 minus P to the power 1 minus X and X is observing just two value. So how we can find expectation? Expectation is very easy to find. Take weighted uh, sum with this weighted sum and simplify it. So K is here observing only two value 0 and 1. So with respect to 0, what is the probability of observing 0? It is probability of observing 0 is 1 minus p. That's why we are multiplying 0 with 1 minus p. What is the probability of observing 1? It is p. That's why we are multiplying 1 with p and simplify. Then you are getting p. That, that means expectation of a Bernoulli random variable is equal to probability of success. It is p. Likewise, what is the variance of this Bernoulli random variable? So you don't calculate directly this through expected rule. In place of that, what you do? Oh, apply the relation that uh, uh, variance is uh, what difference of expectation of x square and a square of expectation. So calculate expectation of x square and we have already calculated expectation of x. So if you do a square then it will be just equal to p square. Okay. So there is no need to calculate the second part. First part we need to calculate. So we are going to calculate uh, uh, first part here. So that means uh, we do a squaring of each value of x. After that we are multiplying the corresponding probability. So uh, square of 0 is uh, 0 itself and what is the probability of uh, uh, observing 0? That one is 1 minus p. So 0 is multiplied with 1 minus p and we do a squaring of 1. A square of 1 is 1 itself and probability of observing x equal to 1 is p. So we are multiplying 1 with p and uh, after, uh, after that we are subtracting it from a square of expectation that happens to be p square so after simplification we observe that uh, p into 1 minus p that one is what variance of x so p is the property of success 1 minus p is the property of failure so you can say that another way pro variance of Bernoulli random variable is actually property of uh, success and property of failure product of property of success and property of failure so that you can talk about so other thing we'll discuss in next class uh, if you are having any question you can ask otherwise